Okay, so <laughs> this is a really, really good question, um, and and one that uh, I think is probably going to lead to more questions. So, so Rickles has said, "What is the most simple way you can explain first, second, and third position? What holes are included in each position?" So, first, second, and third position, all ten holes are included in all three of those positions. Okay, there are twelve positions in total and you still include all 10 holes. So it's not a question of which holes you're playing. What it's a question of is what your home note is. And then that dictates what everything else, what, where everything else lays out for you. So uh, I think probably the, the easiest way for me to uh, demonstrate this is if I grab, okay, I'll grab a C harmonica in the key. So key of C. If I was to play, um, starting on the two draw, that means that I'm playing the G note on the two draw, uh, which means I'm now playing in the key of G. But whatever harmonica I was playing in, the important thing is that uh, my home note is the two draw, which means that I'm playing in second position. Now, in second position, I can choose to play any scale that I want or any scale that I can play. So I could play the minor pentatonic scale. Okay. Or I could choose to play the major pentatonic scale. Okay. There's a little bit of overlap. There are some notes that are in both scales, uh, but I've chosen, I've started with a position. That's my home note. And then I have, chosen which scale I want to play. And what, what that choice means um, is, is the, the sound and the feel that I, I want to get. So if I'm playing a minory melodic tune, sorry, a minory tune, not melodic tune, then I'm probably gonna err more on the side of, of the minor pentatonic. The major pentatonic won't sound good over a minor key. Um, but I could have chosen, instead of playing on my C harmonica in second position to play in the key of G, I could have picked the harmonica that allows me to play the key of G in third position, which would be my F harmonica. So there I can still play um, my, uh, my minor pentatonic scale. I can play the major pentatonic scale. This is gonna take me a moment to think about because my brain really hurts when I try and do this stuff, so this should be. <laughs> so I can do major pentatonic in, in third position. I don't do that very much. The notes don't lay themselves out in the nicest way, uh, which is why I would maybe choose to play the key of G in a different position. So that's a, a, an interesting thing to think about. What position uh, you're going to play is gonna be dictated a lot by what you're trying to do. Um, what kind of phrases you're trying to play. Um, if you're doing a lot of chugging, second position works really well because the notes are laid out in, in such a nice way that you can play uh, chords that fit in, in second position really easily. doing that in third position is quite difficult. Doing it in first position doesn't really work. Um, so first, second or third position, they just refer to uh, where your home note is. Then you decide on what scale you're going to play. Um, and then and that's that's where you, where you go. Uh, I hope that that gives you a, a little bit of a, an intro to the position thing, Rickles. One thing I would say, people really, really, really worry about positions. And everything becomes really clear when you start playing with other musicians and you start playing with backing tracks and you start experimenting with, okay, my backing track is in this key, but the harmonica I need to play is a different key. What's that? Do that rather than learning what positions are before you do that. Uh, it, it'll make a lot more sense in practice. <laughs>